Taking a look at today's equity index futures markets. Let's look at the NASDAQ futures as they continue to move higher today. NASDAQ futures higher for a fifth consecutive session. And today we're looking at the futures market up just under 25 basis points or a quarter percent, right around the 20,665 level as we move towards the close. And if we hold these levels, which it appears we will, this will be a new all-time closing high once again today as the markets continue to realize upside momentum as we move into a new week with several things on the docket this week, uh, highlighted by Fed testimony in the middle of the week. Inflation data at the end of the week and earnings kicking off later this week. But uh, driving factors today, really, it appears that uh, rotation and just sentiment in the market. Now, early in the session, we did see some selling pressure, actually, initially after futures look like they're going to open higher. Then after the opening, uh, we did see some selling pressure and moving the NASDAQ futures lower for the part of the morning. But then as we move through the day, buying pressure continued to uh, move into this market, particularly in the tech names. Uh, the leadership names showed some strength after opening on the low end of the side. NVIDIA, things of that nature, uh, Tesla. We did see uh, Apple higher as well. So uh, some of those areas that opened on a little soft this morning regained some traction throughout the day, helping to move the NASDAQ futures higher, semiconductors being another area. And so when you look at the price action today, really, uh, it was kind of uh, spread out. Some of the... Uh, Dispersion today was uh, somewhat negated. Now, the Dow did uh, end up uh, down on the session just slightly. But when you look at the S&P and the NASDAQ uh, continuing to move higher here today with both of them putting in new all-time highs. But the Russell also partic participated strongly today. Uh, the Russell actually showed the most relative strength today, up just under 1% on the session. So uh, small caps benefiting from some of the trends to start the week, as well as the tech sector moving the NASDAQ 100 futures to new all-time highs for the fifth consecutive session.